Hi guys. Okay. Today's going to be a super quick video. <laughs> um, you may have seen this coffee dyed paper with dots on it in some of my journals. Um, and it's not always coffee dyed. Sometimes it might be pink or blue or green. But um, I have been asked to show how I make this quite a few times over the years. And um, I'm finally getting around to it. So I'm going to take you out the back and I'll show you how I do it. It's very quick and easy. I'll be right back. Here's my little baby magpie. There's a whole bunch that have been coming into our yard this week. But this is my favourite little baby. This one she will eat out of my hand. Up close. Actually they all kind of eat out of your hand. But this one is so sweet. She comes really close. And um, I held food out on my hands the other day. And she just jumps on my hand. <laughs> She's so beautiful. Isn't she beautiful? <laughs> and this little one I've actually patted twice, like a kitten. <laughs> She's chattering to this one up on the clothesline. Where are you? This is my crow Fluffy. She's eating a chicken wing. She does not like the magpies. <laughs> she will follow me around like a puppy and keep chattering until I feed her something. She doesn't dare take um, Fluffy the Crow's chicken wing. <laughs> Say bye-bye. Okay, so... The <laughs> I hope you can hear. My little magpie is chattering away beside me. Okay, this is the rusty old uh, shelf I use. It was actually one of those kind of craft drawers. It had plastic drawers in there. See, these are the drawer runners. Um, but it was really wonky and the wheels didn't roll properly and it was falling apart. So I've just had it out in the backyard around near my craft room. Um, it, it's got all rusty in the weather, which is good. <laughs> it makes extra nice marks on the paper and I just see how it's got dots on the top I just basically put my coffee dyed paper on there so I'm going to show you if I can you're teetering on a little plastic tub here <laughs> let's see if I can show you Okay. Nope. Let me turn you the other way. Okay. I think that's going to have to do. Okay. And all I do, I can, the only problem is I can only do one page at a time. I just put my paper there. I let it hang over the edge a little bit. I hope you can hear. And I've got some coffee solution in a jar. And I just paint it on. It doesn't have to be a very thick coat at all. Okay, I paint it on one side. 
Sorry, I'm doing this one-handed. <laughs> I'm holding the jar in the other hand. I'll flip it over and then I'll paint the other side. And this is just coffee in water. And that's it. And then I just let it dry. Now this little trolley, I've moved out of the sun just because I couldn't see what was on my camera. But usually it just sits in the sun. <laughs> Wherever the sun goes, I move it around the yard. It just sits in the sun near my craft room. And whenever I walk past to go back in the house, I just paint another paper. Because, yeah, I can only do one at a time. I need a great big metal sheet that I can do lots at once but anyway I just use these papers for myself um, I have been asked to put them in my Etsy store but you know it's a bit hard I can only do one page at a time so anyway this will dry it dries really quickly and um, because you know the holes are underneath as well and it's in the sun usually once it's dry it'll fly off that little uh, shelf onto the grass when I walk past, I pick it up and then I just paint another paper. Next time I walk past, <laughs> I'll do another one. So I don't do many in a day. Anyway, let me move you back to my craft room. Okay, back in the craft room. Um, <laughs> sorry about my camera work outside. I hope you could see okay. And... This is the little bundle that I got done today. Like I said, not many pages because I can only do one page at a time. Um, my craft room is actually in the double garage. And I've got, there's a door, a sliding glass door that I had put in on the back of the garage. So I can just walk straight into um, the laundry door, which is on the left into the house. Or just keep walking down the backyard. And um, I can then do my coffee dyed papers outside and just walk in and out of my craft room. So through the day when I go in and out of my craft room into the house to go to the bathroom or get a drink or lunch or food for my magpies or whatever, hang the washing on. Um, whenever I go past that little rusty trolley, I just quickly paint a page. Um, just outside my craft room I've got a little outdoor table and that little rusty trolley just stands next to it and I just have my jar of coffee dyed um, solution and paintbrush sitting next to it so it's um it's not you know a chore to do it just because it's one at a time I just quickly paint a page every time I walk back and back and forward so um, this is what I got done today not many you know it's no chore even though it's one page at a time because i'm just doing one as i walk past and it's it's basically paint paint you know a couple of seconds anyway so this is how they turn out this one's quite good this one's dotty all over the page and you can see the back is a beautiful dark uh this coffee dye solution i made quite dark i put a lot of spoons of coffee that one turned out quite nice. Some of them, some of them get these little streaky marks and that's where I get air bubbles. So, you know, when you put it down and, and paint brush, you need to really start from the center and brush out. I tend to just go all over the place. I don't mind the uh, marks. That's where, you know, the paper has bubbled. And it wasn't in direct contact with the rusty metal underneath. But I don't actually mind it. I think it, oh, this one, like this. See those streakies? I don't mind it. Gives it a bit more of a grungy, grungy look. One of them, my crow had a munch on. Yes, this one. <laughs> he took a bite out of it. He always has to calm and see what I'm doing. Oh, she. I call her a she. I don't know if it's a boy or a girl, but 
that crow you saw earlier that's fluffy she has been coming um into our backyard for years years and years anyway i love them look how dark they are on the back this one the dots came through um to the other side i mean they all kind of do but not as obvious as that one See, this one is very grungy. That's what I mean. I don't mind where it's bubbled. Or sometimes it might, if it's a little bit windy like it is today, it might blow off that little trolley um, before it gets a chance to fully dry. And I think that's when I get some of those marks, which I don't mind. Look at the back. <laughs> I like the back of this one even better. Anyway. That's it. So, um, of course, you don't need to use a little trolley like that. I just use it because it had the little dots. Um, some good ideas to use is like an old ironing board where you have that cross hatch pattern um, or, you know, little diamond patterns. Um, things like that. Old bird cage will give you some lines. But anyway, I do have some other coffee dyed papers that I need to do because I'm kind of out of everything. Um, as I do them, I'll do a little video to show you just different quick, easy ways to make different, you know, pattern papers um, with just using junk that you've got <laughs> without having to go and buy anything. So anyway, that's it. I hope you enjoyed it and uh, thanks for watching. Bye.